Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to discuss fin blades. There's many types of fin blades out there, plastic, fiberglass, carbon. We've been developing a carbon one for quite a while. We did a lot of testing, a lot of looking at other brands to see just what was out there on the market. And we feel this specific blade and setup is the best we can make in-house and the best we've seen out there. Plastic is very economical. Obviously, carbon costs a lot more. So if you're not able to afford carbon, you would have to go with plastic. Plastic does function. Plastic does work fine. But carbon does give you an added benefit of lightness, uh, reactiveness. It gives you an extra burst and definitely far more efficient than a plastic blade. If plastic was great, they'd be making fishing rods out of it instead of fiberglass and carbon. So our biggest concern with blades was the consensus that stiffness in the way the blade bends was the most important factor. We're convinced that's actually not the case. We're convinced that the stiffness side to side, in other words, the torsional stiffness is way more important than this zone. I've seen many blades out there that are really stiff in the zone you're kicking, the up and down, but twist very easily. That causes a problem when you're finning. As you fin down, the blade will twist and water flow will be dumped off the edges. That's because it is stiffer in the zone you're kicking, but not in the torsional. To control that torsional stiffness, a lot of load comes onto your ankle, but you're still going to get massive slippage off the edges because it just dumps that weight. It's softer in the torsional direction. So we looked at helicopter blades and they have exactly the same problem. They need to be stiff torsionally to maintain the angle of attack. It doesn't matter if the blade flips around a lot, the performance is very good if you can control that torsional stiffness. So we went back to the drawing board and set up our blades um, with taking that into note. The direction of the fiber is specific to make the torsional direction stiffer than the up-down uh, angle. A lot of guys will pick up these and feel, wow, they're so soft. They're going to be of no use. But once you've used them, you'll realize that because there's so little dumping off the side, because it's stiffer in that direction, the performance is way better than a conventional blades that we've seen on the market. The shape on the edge here, this is also quite a prominent feature on our blades. We feel that the fishtail type blade allows it to twist even more. If you take that arc moving through something, it's going to be more stable. This is much like a cart. If you fly a cart, wind direction this way, it's stable in the air in a curve. If you flip it that way on a cart, it's going to wobble terribly. And that's exactly what happens with this shape. This shape dragging through the water, your high point is right at the middle, much more stable when that's moving through the water. Obviously, the foot pocket that works best for you is the one you want to use on your blade. So that's why not all foot pockets are made the same. Everybody's foot is different, like your shoes, you have different sizes. So you need to find the foot pocket that's best suited for you. We rate rubber as the better type of foot pocket. Yes, they are not as cost effective, but you have a much better reactionary on the spring in your foot. The Plastic rubberized fins are much more economical to make and much more affordable. That's why they're on the market. You can smell a rubber fin from a mile away. So they are definitely the best performing. Quite heavy in comparison, but your blade is so light that it compensates. The most common shape we make with the trim and tailpiece is specific for our Vortex rubber foot pocket. Back in the day, it was regarded as a good blade if it was really stiff and the end of your dive, your feet and legs were hurting a bit. You knew you'd had a good dive and your fins had worked well. That's actually not the case. You must regard your fins much like a runner regards his running shoes. At the end of a run, your feet mustn't be sore. So you need to find a blade and foot pocket that's suitable to your feet that after a dive, you're not sore. You don't, shouldn't even know that you've actually worn fins. That's the most efficient in terms of energy use and diveability. So, 
As mentioned, we make these now in-house, so we control the shapes, the layups, the rubber trim, everything is made in-house. Because we believe torsional stiffness is much more important than the up-down kick, we've named our blades Torsion Plus. I hope that was informative. Stand by for the next video next week.